Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will be learning about auto sum function in Excel. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, without further ado, let's get started with our one point agenda that is auto sum in Excel. For that, Let's get started with the practical mode. Now on my screen, you can see the sales of four quarters from different regions that is East, West, South, North and Central. Now you might want to calculate the sum of sales happened from all the regions in Q1 or you might want to calculate the sum of sales happened in one region of all the four quarters. That is either you want to calculate the sum of all the regions from quarter one or you might want to calculate the sum of all the quarters in one region right so to do this you have some simple functions in excel so you might say me you have some function etc right for that you might want to go into the you know equals to mode and fetch some option and subtotal or sum of you have to select the function from here but what if I tell you that there is one simple easy shortcut where you just have to make one single click and you'll have all the sum right so that seems interesting. So on the top in the home bar, select home and in on the top right corner, you have the editing group. In editing group, you have aggregation function that is summation. So you have different aggregations here, some average count numbers, maximum, minimum, more functions. Here you might want to select the sum and you can get all the summation numbers here. So I'll select one cell. So the second query where we wanted to calculate the sum of all the sales happened in East region with all the quarters included. That is this one C2 to F2, right? So let us select G2 and select the auto sum option. And here it will automatically select the range for you. That is C2 to F2. If you want to change it, can also, you know, change it like minimize the number. If you just wanted to calculate the sum of three quarters you can do that so now we want four quarters so select enter and there you go you have all the sales of all the four quarters of east region now if you simply drag it you will have the sum of all the four quarters of all different regions now let us calculate the summation of q1 of all the regions that is this one select auto sum and it will automatically select all the cells for you that is from C2 to C6, right? Press enter and you'll have the summation. Similarly, you can, you know, drag it and you have the numbers here of all the Q2 sales of all the regions, Q3 sales of all region and Q4 sales of all region. Now, let us try to change the color so we can have a reference that is it's different. It's it's this total sum or right. You just have a reference to identify it. Now, similarly to this one as well. So that's how you implement auto sum in Excel. And with that, we have come to an end of this session on auto sum in Excel. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics discussed in this session, or if you require the resources that we used in this session then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest until next time thank you stay safe and keep learning hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here